What's up guys, Sip Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a commentary on uh, just talking about my friends and if you guys don't know, my f my three best friends and then I'm going to mention someone else who's, I wouldn't say best friend, but I'm really, uh, okay, I guess he's a best friend, but um, so they're, my four best friends are Twist, Spartan, Zorks, and Shadows and at school me, or I've known uh, I'm gonna give a backstory. So, I've known Twist since kindergarten. If you guys don't know, if, like my story, I'm almost 16. That's almost 11 years. I've known him since I was actually it's almost 12 years because I've known him since I was four. He was on my t-ball team, and that's crazy. Him and I met in March of 2002. March of 2002, I believe. He was on my t-ball team, and him and I in, like almost instantly became friends. And uh, Zork says this is actually kind of a funny story. Um, I met him when Nate and Zork came. Nate and Gino came to my school in first grade, and Gino and I hated each other. Literally, like we couldn't stand each other for most of sick, most of first grade, and then. In second grade, we finally put our differences aside, and we realized it was stupid why we, we hated each other. And Shadows and, and Spartan I met in uh, April of sixth or April of my sixth grade year, and I've been friends with all of the with those four since the day I met them. Really, besides Gino, but that doesn't really count because we were first graders and we didn't know better. And so, like. And they're real you guys don't realize it like they're really good friends as much as we argue like you guys don't see what goes on behind the scenes I've had a lot of stress I've I haven't talked to anybody about it besides Nate or besides Gino or Phil and Pat like, like I sometimes talk to Pat not as much he's but they're all amazing friends and you don't like people don't get how much they actually like Nate and Gino really don't get how much they actually mean like my, their friendship actually means to me and same thing with Shadows and Spartan Shadows is Phil and Spartan is Pat so that's what I'm gonna be calling them for the rest of the video um and like Nate and Gino just and, and Pat and Phil they're always there for me whenever I need somebody to talk no matter what time it is one of them is always up especially Nate he has a weird sleep schedule and like I I had so much stress. I had like three mental breakdowns over the summer. And you know who was there, who stayed up with me until I calmed down that night, was Nate. And Phil was there for one of them. Not not saying anything bad. And and Gino was there for one of them too. And Pat doesn't text, so they were all over text really. So that's not Pat's fault. And I'm not saying anything bad about the people who were only there for one of them because they only were there for one of them. Because Nate's my first like my go-to person. It's Nate, then Phil, then Gino, then Pat. Um, and the reason it's that order is just because I feel, I, I kind of have a sense for who cares more, like who will help me, who give, who'll give better advice, and it switches around for certain, for other certain things, like, but one of the things I really was worried about over the summer and really stressed about, and I haven't made a, I haven't talked about it before, and I'm kind of nervous to actually say this, but I was worried over the summer that after having a girl cheat on me that every girl was like that and that I was never gonna get married and never have kids and that I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I'm kind of like it's it's a touchy subject like it's still something that I worry about but I don't think like I don't worry about it for myself I worry about it for my friends now like I I know there's so many other people in this world that I, I have a chance with and that like I just I can't just let one person get to me uh, one thing one girl get to me for what she's done and Phil is has the same worries and that him and I can relate to that and we try to give each other advice that we found and Nate's really the one I get my advice from and Gina's there if I need to vent so is Pat Pat may not listen but I, I get what I need to say off my chest and that's just as good and um, Real quick, I'm going to pause this so I can uh, find another gameplay to put in the background, another short gameplay. 
Alright, I'm back. The next gameplay you're, you're going to be seeing is a rush gameplay. I don't know what I go, but um, it's besides the point. So, anyway, like I said, Pat's there if I really need to talk, if I just need to vent, and if I need to just get so much off my chest. And that actually, believe it or not, helps. If Even though I may not be getting advice, I'm still getting what I need to say off my chest, and I don't have to worry about being judged, because you know what? Pat doesn't judge. He doesn't care who you are, what wrong you've done him. If you apologize to him and you mean it, he will accept your apology and he will put his difference aside with you and that's why he's a great friend and like he never holds a grudge and I wasn't the nicest to him for most of the time and in seventh grade for like for when I know knew him in sixth grade I visited their, their school twice and I wasn't nice to him either time and I came to seventh grade I was a much different person um and I was very optimistic about going to my new school and he was there he him and Phil were the first two people that came up to me on that day and they introduced themselves if, if just in case I didn't remember them and they told me that they like that if like not to they gave me some advice that I still follow today and that advice was don't fall in with the popular kids find your own group of friends it doesn't have to be us just find your own group of friends. Don't worry about being popular. And you know what? I didn't listen to them in seventh grade. I thought I was friends with all the cool kids, like Aiden, Nick, a couple other people, Will. Like, I thought I was friends with them, but really they just used me so they could crack jokes on somebody. And you know who was always there when I needed somebody to talk to because I was getting mad at the, at the people who I thought were my friends? It was Phil or Nate or Pat. And it's just something like a good quality of a friend and I'm not saying that Gino wasn't there but him and I didn't start talking until like the middle of seventh grade and that's for a reason I don't know I guess because Gino didn't text that much back then and I mainly talk by text now so and I always mainly have since I got my phone and like really just some of the things that I've worried about they've just all been there and been able to just Help me through it. Make sure I'm okay. There was, like, there was times where it got so bad and I didn't have anybody to talk to. I was worried about people judging me. And I said, I had a conversation with Gino. I had a conversation with Phil. And I don't think I had this conversation with Nate. And I don't think Nate even knows about this conversation taking place. I said, I'm afraid that you'll judge me if I tell you my issues. Now, I was talking to Gino and Phil and both of them said it was two separate conversations just so you know. It was, both of them said it was nothing I had to worry about from them. Gino said, you know what, I may laugh at your problems but I seriously am trying to make you feel better. Or something along those lines. And he, and he has never laughed at it. Like, no matter how stupid the problem is, he tries to help me, and that's every every single one of my friends. And I'm one of those people who it's if you I hold a grudge, and if you wrong me, I will not talk to you. And uh, people have tried to change that about me, and I'm also really hard to become friends with because I like I don't trust somebody, and I, it's really hard for somebody to gain my trust. And these four have my trust, my ultimate trust over everything. And, um, it's just, like, great to have people who I can always talk to. And just, when you guys try to make friends, just make sure that the people you're trying to make friends with are the people you want, you think you have, like, have potential to be friends with for the rest of your life. And I think I can be friends with Nate, Gino, Phil, and Pat for the rest of my life. And that's a great thing. And, it's it's like awesome that I think I found four people who will be there for me until I like and I, I they know I'll be there for them and I, like Pat doesn't have stress he, he's one of those guys who's always smiling same thing with Phil really and Phil's come to me about some of his problems and I've been there to help him and I try to be a good friend I try to return that favor that's how you guys should be that's just my advice and that's just my opinion on why my friends are so important to me. So, anyway, guys, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.